Hello, it is time for round three of the automatic chicken coop door saga. It is a little windy outside, so I'm gonna work on our kitchen counter. Don't tell Lauren. Uh, I ordered a DC timer. This is a programmable digital timer. I'm gonna forego the whole light sensor idea. This is what I've got. We're going from our battery to our relay to our motor. On the other side, we're going from our battery to our new timer to our box. When I press this button, the antenna should open. So I'm doing this for the first time. Here's hoping. Whoa! Okay, now the real test is uh, if this will stay longer than 55 seconds. Please don't close, please don't close, please don't close, please don't close. All right. This is an official working prototype. Here's the programming instructions we have to work with. Time setting should according to the time sequence, couldn't be set crossly. What does that mean? All right, first test, this should close in two, one, close. Yes, it's working. So that's great news. I'm ready to put it on the chicken coop. So let's get it all packaged up and we'll take it outside. First thing I need to do is draw this out because I am never gonna remember how this is all wired. I'm gonna cut the lid with the hole saw to have this exposed so that everything is all in one box. And I'm gonna cut off these bolts so that they're all the same length. There we go. First thing we gotta do is take the old door off. I've ruined the old one, I hope this works. All right, I'm gonna install this temporarily on the outside, even though it's designed to go on the inside, just to make sure it works. Because if there's any problems, I need to be able to close it manually. It's not ideal. It's literally just hanging there by the wires and I've got it shimmed out here with some scrap wood. Uh, but if I wanna try this tonight, the chickens are chomping at the bit to get in the coop. And if, uh, I don't get out of the way, they're gonna come through. So let me set the timer and we'll keep an eye on them. All right, so I am standing outside the chicken coop. Mike says it's supposed to open at 7.32, so we'll see. <gasps> it's working! Sort of. It got stuck halfway. They're coming out though. All right, we can work with that. Here's the wiring diagram if you're interested. I'll leave a link in the, just, just kidding. Here's the actual wiring diagram. When I put this together, I realized I probably could have gotten rid of the terminal bus in the center there, uh, but it helped me to put things together and test things as I went along. How it works is the digital timer will send power to these two terminals on the relay, which in turn will then send power to the green wire, which closes the door. When the timer opens the switch, power is still run to the red wire, which closes the antenna, thereby opening the door. The reason for all this complicated wiring is because antennas have two power leads rather than just one. The red and the black wire are in constant power, and when you apply 12 volts to the green wire, the antenna opens, therefore closing the chicken coop door. I hope this was helpful. I'll leave a link to the wiring diagram in the description below. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments. Next, I'm going to permanently install this door and add an automatic waterer and feeder to the chicken coop. See you next time!